Governor of Iowa, Governor Kim Riddle! Well, I never set out to be a politician. I just absolutely didn't. When I graduated from high school, I thought about going into education. I started working in the uh, county treasurer's office, and that was the first time that I'd really been exposed to an elected office. It was just kind of a different environment, and I saw a lot of things that I thought could be done differently. And, you know, like any good wife, I would share uh, those suggestions and ideas with my husband Kevin often and uh, after four years being the motor vehicle clerk in the county treasurer's office the current treasurer decided not to run and I was sharing the latest saga with Kevin saying you know nobody wants to run and I'm not sure what's gonna happen and he listened for quite a while and finally he just said to me well Kim this is kinda how I see this he said you know Either you uh, run for office and implement all those changes that you've been talking about, or I pretty much don't want to hear another thing about it. It is so reflective of the opportunities that exist within our borders. We're a small town girl from rural Iowa, St. Charles, Iowa, town of about 500. And with those humble beginnings, I was able to serve as the county treasurer, to be elected to the state senate, to serve as the lieutenant governor alongside the longest serving governor in the country, and today serve Iowans at the highest level as the first female governor of the country. When it comes to women serving as governors, it's probably the hardest glass ceiling for women to break in politics. There's only been throughout history a total of 39 women governors serving in 28 states. Thank you. I am honored and humbled to be appointed to the Iowa Supreme Court by Iowa's first female governor. And then 11 of them have succeeded into office like Governor Reynolds has, four of whom then have gone on to win their first full term. It's particularly bad in the Midwest. The Midwest was the last area of the country to elect a woman governor. Turning you know, to Governor Reynolds, you know, I think when you look at her trajectory, it's kind of a common thing, not common in Iowa, but Iowa does really, really well to elect women in county government. More than 40% of government uh, county officials in Iowa are women. And of course, that's where I think it's interesting, that's where Governor Reynolds comes from. So she's a former county treasurer, and so that has a high propensity to elect women in Iowa. So she's used that to go to the state senate and then to the lieutenant governor and now the governor. Yeah, you want to get the big ones, they're like, okay, lay it down. We need more women moving into the C-suite, moving into nonprofits, running for office. But if you never see it, it's hard to envision it. So I think the more that we see that you're going to continue to see uh, more women getting involved. We're 50% of the population, we're 50% of the workforce. We, we need that diversity of thought and we just we're multitaskers by, by nature, it's just what we do, and so we tend to see a problem, address a problem, find a solution, and move on to the next thing. I am proud to support her uh, and support her for re-election in this office, and I know that she's got to earn it by what she does, but I think she's proven to me that she's ready to do the job and do it well. Can I shake your hand? What's your name? Very nice to meet you. Corn dog has to come first, right? While I'm really proud to be the first female governor of the state of Iowa, I hope when uh, my story is told and we look back on history, it's filled with many, many chapters of the great things that we collectively did to continue moving Iowa in the right direction. And that's really my goal. It's really heartwarming when I see um, little girls and young ladies come up to me and just you can just see that the excitement and that because you got it sometimes you have to see it, you know, to, to, to dream it. And so I, I'm happy to be playing a small role in that. And I've been able to take advantage of a lot of phenomenal uh, women leaders that have gone ahead of me that have really um, set that bar high. And so I hope I can emulate the great work that they've done and continue to pass to pass that forward to, to uh, the next generation of uh, women leaders.